Smacking Spaws presents The March to YouTube Domination! Dateline Hollywood! A plucky red-haired beauty hatches her plan to conquer the internet by gaining 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. But she can't do it alone! Only you can help her in a quest to achieve YouTube greatness by liking, subscribing, and most importantly, sharing her videos! Remember, it's up to you to fight the evils of YouTube suppression and the evil corporations who want to keep you down by clicking the like button as we march our way to YouTube domination! This has got to be the final nail in the coffin of the entire MCU. As if this wasn't doomed on arrival already. Hello everyone, I am Mecha Random 42 the one, the only, the original, your favorite YouTube consumer advocate Harpy. And a few years back, probably 2019 already, when the MCU was announced and first dropped, we were watching it live. I was watching it with somebody and we're gonna bring him in as, as tradition for yet another shock and hard well you, have you seen it yet have you seen it who are you why are you here have you seen what Hi. they're doing to the mc mcu now i'm i'm well aware now <laughs> it's it's who are you why are you here hi i'm rob robot shlomo and i'm from midnight's edge midnight's edge after dark my own channel robot shlomo and i'm here because i'm afraid we have to pour one out for one of my homies the mcu it's it's over johnny but it's for it's women over. now. It's for girls now. It's for late. It's for middle-aged housewives and Karens. <sighs> this is what you get when you get a lady wham and Thor. I remember. I remember your reaction when we when we heard the news of the lady wham and Thor with Love and Thunder. Was to immediately go on Ethan's um, <laughs> crypto fashion page. I think it's called, and buy a Cyberfrog T-shirt, which I still have. <laughs> but this is they have. This is utterly tone deaf. I can't believe they do this. Who is the one person that you think they would not cast in one of these movies? You know, it's bad enough that they have Brie. It's bad enough that WandaVision ended poorly. Let's just say less less good than it could have for the people who saw it. A less, less than spectacular ending. <laughs> It's, it's bad enough that it's, it's just bad enough that there's no movies that anybody cares about and they're two years behind on what the Eternals and pretty much all. No, no, no. They, they've decided to go full Lady Wham and Ghostbusters, which is why I know who you are in the first place. That's where all this started with the fan blaming and the you're an istinophobe if you don't like it. Back to the Lady Wham and Ghostbusters. They're really doing it. They're really putting a Lady Wham and Ghostbuster in Thor Love and Thunder. And it's the one you wouldn't expect. Melissa McCarthy. You saw her on the Thunder. Melissa McCarthy. Melissa McCarthy has been spotted filming scenes for Thor Love and Thunder. <sighs> She's been spotted filming scenes for Marvel's forthcoming Thor Love and Thunder, the bridesmaid actor who was seen on set with her husband Ben Falcone. And Luke oh. Hemsworth will play a fake version of Hela. You know, the real news is that somebody actually, she has a husband. Somebody <laughs> wanted to buy a ticket, ticket for that carnival ride. That's that's the real news. I'm sure she's a lovely the one, woman. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The, the one actress you think that they would not cast in one of these movies. The one who, the one who just has no business being in the MCU. I, you know, it, well, Kristen Wiig was Cheetah in the DC stuff. or Which, was that Cheetah? was terrible. Yeah. Yeah, she was. I could I could see I could see Leslie Jones being something entertaining. We, we just watched her in Coming to America too, and I could see I could see what's the other one? What's the other one? This... Justin Bieber chick? Uh, Ruby Rose? <laughs> no, <laughs> the other one, the Ghostbuster, the one who didn't know Diva oh. from DeBarge. Uh, yeah, Kate McKinnon. Kate yeah, McKinnon? that one. I could see her maybe being in the MCU. Melissa McCarthy is just. She, her, her whole shtick is large woman gets hurt and falls, or large woman cannot jump over and do stunts, or... Ha, 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 ha. She fell down. She's awkward because she's fat. Get it? 
Yeah, yeah. That's her there, old. There's that's... photos. There's photos. We're not even lying. So this is this is their video. This is her and her husband's video begging to be in it. Just because she begged to be in it doesn't mean you yeah, have to make her wish. This is not the Make a Wish Foundation. They do great Why work, she... by the way. Uh, there she is. There she is. Why was she in Why? Australia? They're filming it in Sydney, Australia. Why? I want to go to Australia. Why? 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 Why would she? Why? <laughs> Why? Talk about this is the most tone deaf. Maybe this is a. Maybe it's a joke. Maybe you know. Maybe Taika Waititi's just joking. I mean, he after all, who knows if he was joking when he he was responding to some some fan on Twitter. He's like, "I'll ruin your mythos in a minute, baby." Maybe maybe he's trolling. Maybe he's joking. Maybe he's doing this on purpose well, so that, you how, know, it's a... Because he's going to get money anyway. He's getting paid no matter what he does. However, she has not replaced Kate Kate uh, Blanchett. She's instead playing fake Hella. All actors seen on set were Tuesday were portraying characters in a play within a film. <laughs> Similar to the one featured in Thor Ragnarok, still. Yeah, yeah, she, yeah. Well, still, that's, you that's don't... what we had with the fake, yeah. Just yeah, like it was like it was in 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 Thor Ragnarok, they had actors portraying the people that they were there in the movie. So it's not going to be too bad. I think I think what's so bad about this is that this whole this whole movie just feels like a troll job though, because you're going to have Natalie yeah, Portman yeah. as Lady Wham and Thor, and the poor girl can barely lift up a lift up. A, I mean, yeah, there's some pictures coming out floating out of her on set where she looks a little bit more. Muscular, a little bit more, but well, she's still what four foot eleven. She's very much a ballerina build. She's very much a very petite, slim, yeah. not particularly. I mean, I'm not trying to. We're not, nothing negative here. I'm just kind of trying to describe her. And no, yeah. I, uh, uh, this whole this whole movie just feels like a troll job. This whole MCU Phase Four feels like a troll job. It just feels like. Why we, why do we care at this point? Why do we care it's, anymore? Well, they're making it easy for me not to. That's for damn sure. <laughs> Cuz like Thor even loving... as a joke, even as a joke scene, right? This is going to be cringe at best because her mm -hmm. humor is very hit or miss. Mostly miss for me. Sorry, I interrupted you. Know, you. Go ahead. <laughs> you know Taika Waititi's doing this, doing this just to get just to rile fans up. He's that's what he's doing. Probably. Oh, you you don't get his sense of humor. I'm like, yeah, but you know what? You, you got to pick your spots. And this is, you got to know your audience. He goes, <sighs> he said, I, you know, I, I'll ruin your mythos in a minute, baby. I'm like, oh, but you have to understand his humor. I'm like, I'm not, I don't care about his humor. Okay. Make a good movie. Make now, a good movie. To be fair, to be fair, I liked Thor Ragnarok. It was fine. It was, it was a good enough movie. It was fun. It was. You know, you don't really have to pay to. It was a good popcorn movie. You know, that's all it was. I I'm yeah. kind of to the point where if I, like if I'm, if I'm going for a Marvel movie or an MCU movie, it's a different kind of movie <clears throat> than a bridesmaids or a a gross comedy sort of movie. Yeah. And this is going to be cringe at best. Or not well, funny he, at, at the very least, right? Well, he's doing this to, like I say, he's doing this just to deliberately push people's buttons. That's to get people to make videos. To get me to make a video to get yeah. some more publicity, to get some buzz so they can go back and say, hey, look, here's the parrot analytics. People are talking about this. Because I'll doesn't... hashtag it. I'll hashtag it Thor Love and Thunder. It doesn't work anymore. It doesn't work anymore. Mm. The, 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 the saying, no, uh, bad, even bad publicity is good publicity, or there's no such thing as bad publicity. Not anymore. Not anymore. No, it doesn't work. Just ask Star Trek Discovery. Ask, uh, ask, ask Ryan Johnson. Ask Kathleen Kennedy. It doesn't work anymore. You deliberately piss people off. They are going to withhold their money. That's it. That's it. Criticism has been democratized. The movie access media is not the ones are not the ones that determine what succeeds and what fails anymore. We are. Matt We've Damon's taken that back here too. Matt Damon is Loki here. His fake Loki. Yeah. This is going to be just a retread. This is going to be a cringe retread. 
It's, yeah. And you honestly, like I always say, who's Natalie Portman going to save? <laughs> My mom, who doesn't know anything about comic books, I asked her one time. I said, I, I showed her a picture of Natalie Portman. And she said the exact same th I, thing I said. I said, Mom, she's going to be a superhero. Her? You're kidding. Who's she going to save? She, she, she can't even uh, save herself. <laughs> it's true. It's, it is true. It is true. I'm like you. You, you think you you want to make you want to make this the MCU? It's not going to work. We're going to be talking in, in a few years. We're going to be talking. We're going to be talking about how great the MCU used to be. Well, you gotta you gotta remember. It's all about representation and diversity. <clears throat> and and Valkyrie's going to find herself a queen. Oh. <laughs> What when's the new Resident Alien on? Because I, I I I really would like to just focus on that from now on. It's it, this is I I I, I, know. I can't uh, goodbye MCU. We hard we we uh, I don't want to say we barely knew you, but it was fun while it lasted. It's been it's been interesting. It's been interesting. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm glad I'm not that attached to these characters. I think I think I'm okay with skipping this one. I'll probably have to watch it for the channel. Lucky, lucky you, huh? lucky you, lucky you. You're not that atta attached to the characters. I have much. I had years of investment in these characters before the movies. Mm -hmm. I know, and I feel bad. I feel bad that people are getting so let down and disappointed by this stuff. Like, can I, can they just do better as filmmakers? Can they just do better than making these movies by committee hmm. and outrage Twitter mob? What? Because that's what they're going to do. They're going to ju judge this by the outrage. Hmm. What? How dare you suggest we make a better movie? You're going to like what we tell you to like, and you're going to thank us. You think you're too good for this movie? Movies aren't mandatory. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Anyway, tell us what you guys think in the comment section below. Any final thoughts? Resident Alien, Sci-Fi Network, <laughs> Tuesday, Wednesdays at 10 p.m. Yeah, that, that's a much better thing. And I'm, I'm still playing Terraria and stuff. So mm. we'll see you guys on the next video live stream or ever. Bye. Watch Resident Alien! Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye! Those who abuse power are not going to have a change of behavior out of the goodness of their hearts. They are motivated by self-interest and they will only change their behavior if they have to worry they will lose what they care about.